be joking. And that right there is the moment that made me really want to try this. I saw this movie when I was seven years old. And since then, I wanted to go through that moment that whatever that guy was feeling right there, I wanted to feel it in my mouth. Turns out what we see in the movie Ratatouille is not even Ratatouille. Well, it's a variation on it called Confit Bialdi. It was coined with the help of celebrity chef Thomas Keller, which served as a consultant for the movie. First, let's do the traditional, and then finally, I wanna do the exact Pixar version so I can put it in my mouth and be transported back to my childhood and be happy. I wanted to find the Frenchest guy I could on YouTube making Ratatouille, and I think this is the guy and he explained it very nicely. So we're gonna use his method for the traditional ratatouille. Go subscribe to Chef Vivienne. So first I'm washing all my veggies in cold water because I'm being a responsible man. And then the second step was to get all my veggies chopped. Starting with this eggplant. I saw people do big chunks, small chunks. I kind of went mediums, but on the smaller side. That's just my preference. Can you not like genetically modify garlic so it doesn't have a peel? Stop trying to solve climate change, just make garlic peelless. And this bowl right here is gonna get cooked first. I got my Dutch oven, which I do get for free here in the Netherlands, it's pretty cool. I'm not looking to cook them at this point, just give them some color and mainly build up that beautiful fond on the bottom. That's what we want, that's flavor right there. Now to that fond, I added some more oil and my onion and garlic that I chopped up before. Now those guys are gonna pick up some of that fond and create just an explosion of flavors as the base of this dish. It's a very oily dish. I eventually added my veggies back as well as these fresh tomatoes that I chopped up. Now all those juices from all these vegetables are gonna take out the, the flavor on, on the bottom. And like lift that up and mix it in and it's gonna be delicious. Some more salt, <coughs> some pepper for a change of pace. And have some very nice thyme. Give it a little rub so all those oils can come out. Oh, smell my fingers. Mm. That's some good smelling fingers. Never say that to, to a woman. Never say smell my fingers. What I'm doing now is I'm scraping the bottom just to make sure all those flavors are, are in there. And now we're gonna let it simmer for like 30 minutes. But I left it in more than that. It was more like an hour, I think. I scooped that nicely in my plate and now it's kind of my choice of how I want to eat it. And I'm not sure if this is traditional, but I got myself a baguette, which we kept nibbling off of this whole time. I'll just rip that, beautiful. And I'll finish with some flaky salt, a touch more olive oil, and a nice drizzle of lemon juice. Oh, and maybe some basil leaves, why not? From my uh, local basil supplier. Mm. Okay, traditional ratatouille, let's see. Mm. This feels nostalgic, even though I've never had it. It's beautifully simple, and all those flavors work perfectly together. And with the bread, it really works. I'm gonna have to give this, I think, I'm giving this an 8.5 out of 10 as a rating. And now I'm very curious if the Pixar version can beat it. So first we need some tomatoes again. For this version, I had to go through the seemingly fun task of slicing these vegetables into thin discs. And to do that with the tomatoes, I had to remove their skin first. I blanched them in hot water for around 45 seconds, and then I immediately removed them to an ice bath so they can whim half it up. And removing the skin was not fun. Why are we even taking the peel off the tomato? What's wrong with tomato peel? I hate these tedious little tasks that require me to have patience and precision. I could never be a surgeon. I eventually decided a knife is the way to go and I just struggled through cutting these tomatoes. The next veggies were a lot more fun because I was dealing with zucchini and eggplant so I could use the mandolin. Also a little frustrating at times but we did it. If you look at Remy's version it also has a red sauce on the bottom. To a well oiled pan I'm adding my garlic, onion and red bell pepper. And also these are my scraps from earlier. It's getting used in this. And then we just cook it down until nice and soft. I'm gonna add some tomato paste just for that color. And I'll deglaze with the red wine. And now all this red goodness is gonna get blended up. If I can manage to put all this in the blender. With some more olive oil and thyme. 
Give me a little salt, oregano. There's nothing that cannot be solved with a blender pusher down there. Oh. Oh, this is delicious. I made a nice swirl of sauce on the bottom of the cast iron pan. And now comes the fun part. I gotta tightly layer these thin veggie slices. And I understand this might be fun for a lot of you, but I personally find it frustrating. However, when I was finally done, I got to enjoy the sight of my fully formed piece of art. I added some more olive oil, some flaky salt, and of course some more thyme to finish it off. And it also needs a lot of thyme in the oven. <laughs> It needs to go in the oven for 90 minutes at a pretty low temperature. So we top it with parchment paper and this goes in the oven. It came out and it looked beautiful, but now was the part that I was really nervous about because somehow I had to replicate that beautiful plating. We crafted this ring mold. There are metal ring molds, but we don't have them right now. So we're just gonna use this parchment paper mold. I scooped a couple of layers of this at the bottom of my DIY mold and then I lifted it up carefully. The result was not bad. For some reason, there was a lot of juice coming out of it, which wasn't the case in the movie I checked. I then tried to do the sauce like he did, but I realized I'm not really good at plating in general. Like I can cook food, but I still don't really know how to make it look pretty, which probably means I wouldn't have a spot in Remy's kitchen. Some flaky salt. It's not bad, come on. Okay, I think it's time. Let's see. Pixar, Ratatouille. It's a different thing, I feel like. It's really good, very tasty. I personally think I like the other one more. Mm -hmm. Really. No way, this is so much better. The texture of the layers. The are... texture is better. The experience of eating that one, I like that more with the bread and everything. I'm not as impressed as that bad food critic. Really? Yeah. But it's weird how different they are. They mm -hmm. have the same exact ingredients. It's two different things. I'm giving this a, Eight. I will give this less than the traditional. I still like it a lot. It's just a tiny little bit underwhelming. Either way, it was a fun experience. I didn't have a rat helping me. Maybe if I did, it was gonna be better. But you guys should click on one of these two videos because they're cool. YouTube thinks you're gonna like them. So why not give it a shot? I'll see you next time.